Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and remember this necklace that we made the other day? This floral fantasy necklace, which I love. I think it is so pretty. Um, we're going to make the bracelet to match it today. So, I got these leaves from BB Craft. I will provide links in the description box below. Um, all of these hand-painted lucite flowers are on my website, as well as some of the bead caps um, are on there too. I've got some fire polish beads on here, which are also on my website. Um, but yeah, I think this turned out really, really pretty. Um, so let's move it aside. And I will tell you everything you're going to need to make the bracelet. So you're going to need a chunky chain um, with some big links that you can hook something to. And you just need to measure around your wrist. And that's really all that you need is just the amount that, to go around your wrist. You may want to leave a little dangle if you want to be able to adjust it. Um, you're going to need a bunch of little jump rings. I've got some teeny tiny ones and then I've got some a little bit bigger. I wanted a couple different sizes because it makes the leaves hang a little bit different. Um, you're going to need the leaves. These leaves are on BB Crafts website. I will link them in the description box below and I thought these colors were so pretty together. And then you're going to need a lobster clasp or whatever closure you want but I want to use a lobster clasp. And then you're going to need some dangles. So I have made these dangles that match the other ones pretty much. Um, this flower and this flower are both available on my website as well as this bead cap. Um, I have the, I have bicones up on my website, fire polish, all kinds of different stuff. So um, I am going to show you, I've made up these dangles ahead of time just so, you know, it won't be quite so time consuming, but I'm gonna show you how I do a dangle. So you're gonna need um, a head pin, you're going to need head pins for all your dangles, but you're going to need chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and cutters. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll make a dangle. So what I'm going to do here is Heidi Blankenship made these little polymer clay flowers, and I think they're so pretty. So I'm going to use a polymer clay flower on the bottom and a little bead cap right here. Then I'm going to use this flower. Now these flowers are on my website as well. And see, it's just going to make a cute little flower dangle. And then I'll do a bead cap on top. Okay, so this one's not elaborate as some of, some of these, but I'm out of the beads. So <laughs> we're just going to have to go with a plain, plainer little dangle. Okay, so I take the wire, bend it at 90 degrees, just like that. I cut it with my cutters. Whoops. And then I'm just going to roll back a loop. Just like this. Okay, and there you have it. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to attach all of our leaves first, okay? So you're gonna need your jump rings and your leaves. And I'm just going to start, I'm going to come in about, I don't know, three or four lengths from the end. And I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm gonna start attaching the leaves. And the way I did it on the necklace is I did more green leaves than purple or pink. So I'm probably going to do the same thing on here. I just kind of used the pink sporadically. I didn't want a ton of the pink in the necklace. Um, but I'm just going to attach all these little leaves. And the jump rings will go right through them. They're very, very easy to work with and I think these leaves are pretty and somebody pointed out on the necklace you know I was saying that I don't limit myself to just glass um, I will use acrylic I'll use resin I use um, plastic I use whatever if I think it's pretty then I don't care if it's glass or not so why limit yourself I mean there's so many things out there and I've seen some beautiful um, acrylic beads there's just some gorgeous acrylic beads out there so um, these are acrylic leaves, and um, somebody made a point on my web or on my YouTube channel on the video that I did the necklace that if all these leaves were glass, this would be so heavy it would be uncomfortable to wear, and that is very very true. It would be. So um, you know these are really pretty, and they are very lightweight. So here they are, and you just keep attaching them like this. They'll just kind of flow and lay on top of each other. They're so pretty. And they come at BB Craft. 
They're like $12.99, I think, for a bag of 962. And we were laughing at that number. I'm like, why 962? That's a weird number. And it is. I have no idea why 962 instead of like 965. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's a bunch of leaves. They do not come... They come in mixed color, but it's not these colors. They come in a bag of mixed colors, but it's like... I don't, it's other colors, and I really liked the way that these three colors went together. I thought they were really pretty. Okay. So you just keep on attaching all the way across here. And I, I do them front ways. I do them backwards. I don't really... Um, you know, they're just going to lay all over it. It's not going to matter if you attach them facing one way or facing the other. They're just going to go everywhere when you get ready to pick this up. See? <laughs> they just kind of dangle every which way. They're really pretty, though. What is this? A jump ring inside a jump ring. Sadie keeps hearing, and I keep hearing it, too. Some kind of a knocking sound. I don't know if it's a squirrel on the front porch. We had a plastic tub out there. And it had um, bird seed in it because I have three bird feeders in the front and I keep bird seed in them. And I don't mind the squirrels getting in the bird feeder. I think they're adorable. I love to watch them. So they get in there and the birds get in there and everybody just eats the seeds. Well, <laughs> the other day I went out there and the tub, it's a plastic like rubber made tub that has all the bird seed in it. I hooked two pink ones on there, didn't I? They're hooked together. Oh, that's okay. Um, It had... A hole chewed in it so the squirrels have chewed a hole and it was the funniest thing to watch them try to wiggle down in that hole <laughs> they would be they'd take their bodies and go in head first and there would their little feet would be like sticking out the top of that hole it was so cute but I had to move that tub in the garage because I didn't want them to eat like the whole tub full of bird seed that's a lot of bird seed and that would be giving the little squirrels some tummy aches. So I moved the tub in the garage. And I don't know if they're out there, like, trying to climb in the bird feeder. I don't know. We keep hearing this noise on the front porch. Sadie he heard it, too, because she's, like, started to bark. She's under the bed. Hiding under the bed for some reason. <laughs> but I thought that was funny. The squirrels, I love to watch them. They're so cute. And everybody was like, oh, they're dirty. You'll get sick and tired of them. But they may be. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't get sick and tired of them. I just love to watch them. I think they're adorable. We didn't have squirrels like this. We had squirrels in West Virginia, but not like they were in the park. They weren't like just in the neighborhoods. There are so many pine trees all over Fayetteville here that there are squirrels everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere. They're not just in the park. <laughs> they are in the city. They're in the country. They're in the <laughs> mall parking lot. I mean, they're everywhere, but I think they're cute. I love to watch them. So we just keep 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 on um, putting on our flowers. Whoops. Would help if I could find the opening in the jump ring, wouldn't it? And I'm just putting them, I don't know, a couple links apart. I'm not counting. It's just totally random. And I'm just going to measure and see. Like that's about as many as I need to fit around my wrist. Now I'm going to fill in with some more leaves because I want it to be really full. And we're going to put all of our flowers on, too. It's going to be really pretty. Let me do another purple one. This is going to be so cute. Now, if you're interested in buying these leaves in smaller quantities... I will have, eventually, um, I will have some up on my website in smaller quantities than if you don't want to go buy, like, 962 of them. <laughs> so, keep an eye out for those if you're interested in that. Um, but, I like buying in bulk if I can. Oh my goodness, did y'all hear that? It sounded like a gunshot right outside. We have so many military people around here, and I know that they're probably target practicing or whatever, but 
it's always like a little bit weird to hear all the gunshots. I mean, back in West Virginia hunting season, of course, we heard all kinds of gunshots, but we didn't hear a whole lot of just random shooting unless you lived way out, you know, in the country country, and we didn't. We lived kind of out, but not like way, way out. But that was really loud. That sounded like it was literally right outside our window. <laughs> okay, so here we have it. Ooh, I like it. I think it's really pretty. Man, I may have to, I don't know, I didn't, I thought I would sell this set, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm really liking this. It's pretty. Who knew that acrylic leaves could be so pretty on something, right? Okay, so I think that's enough leaves for now. I'm going to go ahead and add on my flowers, and I'm going to do the same thing, just um, randomly. Okay, so just like this. I love these lucite flowers. I think they're so pretty. And these that I painted, um, they turned out like real, I don't know if you can tell in here, but they're real like pearly looking. They turned out really pretty, these little ones. This really adds a lot to it when you put these little flowers on here. It's a very romantic looking piece. I think somebody called it um, Victorian, which is probably true. Really, really adds a lot when you add the flowers. They're so pretty. And I am just putting them in randomly, just wherever. Let's see, let's put another one here in the middle. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, I am going to have to fix this. This is really bugging me because this leaf looks darker than the others because I had two on there accidentally. <sighs> I thought I could leave it and ignore it, but I can't. There we go. That's really bothering me. <laughs> there, that's much better. Okay. Whew. OCD, Miss OCD here, you know. It's perfection. I want it to be perfect. Which is okay sometimes, but other times is really kind of a pain. <laughs> well, there's a lot of flowers right there, which they'll kind of drape around, but I need some down here. Okay, let's do one right here. Oh, it's pretty. I've got one more. And this one, I'm going to put right here. Okay, so let's see when I put this on my wrist. Oh my goodness, I love it. It is so, so pretty. I'm going to add just a few more leaves because I want it really, really full. But man, it's gorgeous. <laughs> this has turned out prettier than the necklace, I think. I don't know why, because it's the same exact thing, <laughs> just in bracelet form. <laughs> but it is really pretty. Probably just going to use all the rest of these leaves that I have here, or at least all the green ones. I hope you guys all had a good Father's Day. Father's Day is today. I don't know if I'll upload this tonight or tomorrow, but Father's Day is the day that I'm filming this. And I'm thankful to still have my dad in my life. My dad is has a lot of health issues. Um, he is in renal failure and on dialysis, and but I'm thankful that he's still in my life. My dad has been an excellent example of what a man should be. Um, 
just an excellent example. He's loved my mom like I've never seen a man love another person before. He has always been so good to my mom. He's worked hard my whole life um, to provide for us and my mom. And um, my dad's just a hero. He really is. So I called him. I sent him a card with... um. A little bit of money in it for him to go. He likes saltwater tanks. And he has a saltwater tank. And I uh, sent him a little money to go buy a fish. <laughs> um, a new fish for his tank. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do. So we're going to come down here. And will these links open? Or do I have to cut it yet a little open? But, um, so I called him today and told him Happy Father's Day. And talk to him for a few minutes, but I miss my family. Miss being at home. We did go to eat to dinner today with Chris's dad. And, um, that was nice. So, Chris's dad just turned 86 last week. So, uh, you know, we're thankful to still have him as well. Alright, so I'm going to hook my lobster clasp on here. And I was just looking there in my um, jump rings to see if I was going to do, actually, I think I'm going to do it on this side. I was looking at my jump rings to see if I was going to do um, a big jump ring down here for it to hook onto, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to let it hook onto the chain. And I, I switched sides here because there's a little bit more chain over here for an extender part. At least I thought there was. Okay. So yeah, this is really... Now watch me not be able to get this latched by myself. I'm really bad with lobsters, but maybe because this one's so big. You guys can watch my struggle here. <laughs> it's terrible. I always have to have Chris come in and do them for me. <laughs> but let's see if I can get it enough to show you what the bracelet looks like on my wrist. There we go. Alrighty. Check it out, guys. I love this. Look how fluffy and just, oh, it's fun. It's really, really fun. I may make it just a tad tighter. I may cut a couple links out of this because um, I don't like them to be um, flopping around too much because when I'm at work, I, I need them to be a little secure so they're not like in my way. So let me take a couple links out. I'm just going to take, I'm going to take it all the way back here because it does have some room on the other side that I could do um, I could adjust it as I need to but these links are really I'm afraid I'm going to break these pliers let me let me grab some a little bit thicker pliers I don't want to break these they're on ones on this chain on trying to open these links um, Sometimes when you get a thick chain like this, you need a little heavier duty pliers to do it. I don't want to tear those up. I just got them. Okay, so yeah, let's take that much off. And put the lobster back on. On the end link now. I'm down to the... I guess I took it all the way. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now, I think it'll be a little tighter. Watch me not be able to get it clasped now, for sure, but <laughs> I'll have to have Chris come and help me. But, um, it is really pretty. Yeah, this will be better. Because I just, I don't like them flopping around. I know that some people like them looser, and some people like them tighter, and see if I can get it clasped so I can show you what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's a little harder when you don't have so much chain there to work with. <laughs> there we go, I think I got it, I did. Okay, oh yeah, man, I love this. This is so pretty. It's so like romantic and girly and frilly and fluffy. I love it. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you like the bracelet and it inspires you to um, go make your own. Yeah, so I have the uh, necklace tutorial and I will have an earring tutorial coming up here in a few days. So here's the bracelet. Here's the necklace. And again, they're just so 
just frilly and fluffy and romantic and I actually thought I was going to sell this set but you know what I think I'm loving it I think I may keep it I don't know we'll see but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh have a great night and I'm gonna go fill a couple more orders before I get ready for bed so I will see you in the next video bye